Good evening, everyone, and welcome to TEDxUW Madison 2023 Fall 20 event focused on artificial intelligence. So my name is Melina Sarbulas, and I am the president and lead organizer of TEDxUW Madison. Alongside me is Prada Valetti, our vice president, Megan Keith, our senior class office vice president, and Lee Song, and Maisie Peterson, our event curator. We're thrilled to see so many of you here tonight, and even more thrilled to jump into some enlightening discussions with some of the best minds from multiple industries. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has become such a prevalent topic in the news. Everyone's talking and reading about it, as well as just scrambling to find out what it really means. It truly is everywhere, in business, media, and academia. We hear about it as constant chatter, but today we are here to learn about it from people who are actually involved with it firsthand. The impact of AI goes far beyond algorithms and data. It's shaping our daily lives, our work, our communities, and even our perception of reality. Our speakers are here to shed light on these transformations and help us navigate this AI-powered world with wisdom and insight. It's a great time to be exploring the possibilities and challenges of AI, and we're honored to have you all here with us tonight to be part of this essential conversation. So let's enjoy the, these talks, use them to engage in discussions, and collectively imagine a future where AI contributes to more equitable and harmonious society. Thank you for the very kind introduction. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to um, start the talk by showing you this video. What you're seeing here is an artificial intelligence model taking the wheel, navigating the road with remarkable precision by tracking objects such as cars and pedestrians and traffic lights and so on. It's a mesmerizing demonstration of the power of AI showcasing its incredible ability to transform our day-to-day -day lives. This is no doubt an exciting time of the AI revolution. However, we find ourselves at an important crossroad. Nowadays, almost every AI system can face formidable safety challenges when we release and deploy them into this real complex world. In my research, my mission is to encourage researchers, practitioners, and end users to take a cautious view at the technologies that we build, especially paying attention to those unexpected situations that our models were never trained for. So what do I mean by that? To illustrate this point, let me provide you with a concrete example. Two years ago, my research team conducted this experiment where we took this photo that the autonomous driving car has, had never encountered in its training time. And we then asked this self-driving car model, what do you see in this photo? What we witnessed was both intriguing and concerning. This model produced overconfident predictions, erroneously categorizing this helicopter, which was unseen during its training time as one of these training categories, truck. And this phenomenon has highlighted a profound aspect of deep neural networks, that they don't necessarily know what they don't know. In other words, our AI systems do not have this awareness of their inherent limitations. And this discovery has raised significant concerns on models safety and reliability. As you can imagine, when these systems encounter what we call out-of-distribution data, failing to flag them can cause catastrophic consequences in many AI applications today, from autonomous driving to healthcare and even beyond. As AI makes its way into more aspects of our lives, the potential for unforeseen situations and negative consequences would simply multiply. And our ideal situation is one where these AI systems can automatically recognize and flag these unfamiliar situations and require human intervention. And for example, in this particular situation, we may want the self-driving car to say, I've encountered something I don't know, and I hope the human driver can take over. And this is really the key to ensure safety and trust in the age of AI. And this example has led to an important research question. How do we build AI systems 
that not only excel within their familiar boundaries, but also navigate these uncharted territory of the unknown. And this challenge has led me into a critical research field called out of distribution detection, which is something I've been working on over the last six years. It's an emerging field that aims to provide our AI systems with a critical safeguard, helping models determine when to abstain from making a prediction if faced with something it wasn't trained on. And this out of distribution detection capability is important and vital, not just for autonomous driving, but also for medical diagnosis, fraud detection, and countless many other applications. So how does out of distribution detection work? Let me explain this to you in a nutshell. Suppose this is the model that's currently been deployed or running in production. Now for every new data input that goes into our system, it could be either an in distribution or out of distribution. And by in distribution, I mean those data points that look like our training data and falls into one of the categories that the model has seen during its training time. Now with an out of distribution detector, which is this function G here, our model has now a safe safeguard. If it expresses uncertainty higher than a predefined threshold, it will raise a flag, signaling that the input is out of distribution and requires human intervention. Otherwise, the model can proceed to produce the prediction for those in distribution inputs. At its core, this entire algorithmic flow operates on the principles of accessing the uncertainty within AI predictions. Over the years, my research team has been developing various algorithmic solutions to enhance this out of distribution detection capability. And this journey has been long and hard. When we started, we were troubled by even the simplest task. For example, distinguishing cipher images, which consist of photos across 100 categories, including cats, dogs, drugs, and so on, versus the street view housing numbers on the right-hand side. To be more specific, the model was trained on the images on the left-hand side, and we want to be able to test if it can distinguish or detect those images on the right-hand side as out of distribution. This seems like almost a trivial task to humanize. And I'm sure a lot of you sitting here today can easily tell apart these two data sets. But when we turned to the AI system, the out of distribution detection error rate was as high as 80%, which was staggering. Over time, we managed to reduce this error rate from 80% to now 2% with our latest algorithm, meaning that we can now successfully detect 98% of these out of distribution data. And this is a drastic improvement in performance. We have also developed safety aware learning algorithms that can now successfully flag these uh, this helicopter as an unknown object. And this is in sharp contrast with previous machine learning algorithms, which are safety unaware. Alongside these algorithmic breakthroughs, my research team has also been developing a deeper theoretical understanding, which shed light on these underlying principles governing out of distribution detection. I believe these research efforts on both algorithmic solutions and theoretical understanding can pave a way for a future where our AI systems are not only intelligent, but also unequivocally safe and beneficial for humanity. I also want to mention that AI safety research is also very important for latest technology breakthroughs such as large language models. The rise of large language models has ushered in this uh, wave of new possibilities, but it's also accompanied by critical safety concerns, 
such as hallucinated responses when they should express uncertainty. In other words, our language models can be remarkably confident in their responses when they should be cautious. Recognizing and quantifying the uncertainty is a complex task, but it's a critical one that we must deal with urgently. And our ongoing research is trying to address these pressing challenges to ensure that large language models can enhance human endeavors while minimizing the harm. Going forward, we need to embrace human-centered AI in order to navigate these complex problems we're facing. The very essence of human-centered AI lies in the quest to build systems that can understand, adapt, and ultimately serve the need of humanity. Out-of-distribution detection serves as a prime example of how AI can be designed with human well-being at the forefront but there's so much more we can do. As we move forward, it's important to remember that the strides we've made so far are an integral part to a more extensive effort of bringing AI closer to human, ensuring that it's a safe and reliable partner on our journey towards AI-enhanced future. In conclusion, the road ahead for AI safety and human-centered AI is challenging but it's a path that we must take. As I leave you today, I encourage you to stay informed about AI developments, support endeavors that promote AI safety and human-centered AI. Together, we can shape an AI-powered future that benefits all of humanity. Thank you.